Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folio. We are jumping in again. Let's randomize our character. This time let's not get the lost and die a lot. But we did get Zack. Eh, I'm not feeling Zack. Tainted Sam, I'm not feeling. We're going to do delete it at some point. Tainted Bethany is pretty fun. We'll give it a Tainted Bethany a go. By the way, people have asked, why do I have a random... Well, no, I said people. One specific person asked, um, why do I have a randomizer if sometimes I don't pick who the randomizer gives me? It's because sometimes I get the same character that I've played really recently, or sometimes I get a character that I just don't feel like will be good for the video, or just don't feel like playing. But I still like having the randomizer, because it gives me a better way of picking the characters, even though I might not pick the first one that comes up. So, chill. <laughs> but we do have some a, a slight, a slight rework to Bethany, actually. Um, this is the wrong Bethany. Uh, whoopsie. We do have a slight rework to um, Tainted Bethany in that, um, have we really only play, only done Greed Murders there? Um, in that we get this here, which is essentially a way for us to delete a specific Lemmageddon Wisp if we'd like to. So we can, we can swap it. Like you see it's cycling there. So basically it means that if you get an item, from your Lemmageddon Wisp that you really don't like or really just doesn't support your run, um, there's a much, much easier way to um, get rid of it. One thing that is slightly curious though, and I don't know if it's to do with the mod or anything else, but I can't actually see what my Lemmageddon Wisps are. They're just orbs, they're not items anymore. But yeah, it gives you a, a really like secure way. If you have a pill and take damage, prevent that damage and consume said pill. Well, that's a, a match made in heaven right there. Um, yeah, it's it's a good way to be able to get rid of an item you don't want, but it costs HP. So, um, it's got a bit of a downside to it. Oopsie. Um, well, that was interesting. It blocked the damage. Model rocket. GMO corn, which didn't actually do anything. I thought it would make us take the pills, but I guess not. Uh, but yeah, so we can actually see our Lemmy getting wisp now. It's just the other two that didn't want to show up for some reason, I guess. Uh, yeah, it gives us a nice, unique way to, um, to cycle out. A specific lemma getting with that really doesn't fit our build because sometimes you get like an Isaac's heart or you get like an Ipecac or you get you just get something that you don't really want. Um, I, I don't know when when you wouldn't want Ipecac, but you know what I mean. Just generally, you sometimes gonna get items that, that don't particularly go well with your current build, and this um this idea fixes that somewhat. It, it gives you a, an option, sort of an out for uh, how to cycle those out. As for the question of the day today, I've done it again. I've done it again. I've not actually opened up my questions of the day. I suppose I could just think of them off the top of my head as I used to, but I've, while I've got a, a good list of them already available to me, I want to use them because they are pretty good. Um, let's have a little look-see. Um, what's the most ironic thing you've ever seen happen? Ooh, that is a toughie. That is a toughie. Oh my god, that's that's a re that's a really good. Some of these questions I think are really good for the audience, but not so good for me. <laughs> um, I have a hard time coming up with my own answer to some of these questions. But what's the most ironic thing? And we're getting a lot of cards here for some reason. Oh hello, I like these fortune tellers. I didn't realize there uh, that the that card could spawn one of those. That's pretty cool. Get these guys gone. Yeah, that's that's definitely uh, an interesting. What's the most ironic thing you've ever seen happen? Hmm. Oh, so one like it's not. It, I, I don't know if I'd class it as ironic, but I I kind of do. I don't know if everyone else would. But one thing that I found really ironic and was really stupid is um, near me there's a subway, and I don't know what it is about other countries, but the, in the UK. The sub subway is actually pretty good. Ooh, host hat. Also, I've got a resprite mod on, which is pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, um, in in the UK, subway is pretty good. In fact, I had subway for lunch today, and I didn't even pay for it. And you may be wondering, how'd you get away with not paying for it? Well, I just forgot all of my money when I went to buy it. And luckily, um, the workers in there see me often enough to know that I, I can be trusted to pay it tomorrow. But I was like, um, I, I don't have any money on me. <laughs> I turned up and I was like, where the fuck? I had my wallet, but there was no cash in it and I'd forgotten my card because I'd been using it early in the day to uh, buy something on Amazon. And I was like, oh, for fuck's sake. How the hell did I manage to leave my house without my cards? Stupid, stupid fucker. Um, but, but anyways, uh, 
one thing is, that I saw once, I was uh, in the line for Subway, and this um, this woman was trying to um, order for her, f I think she had four kids with her, I can't remember, um, but, like, she, it was just, it was just an overall very weird experience, because she, um, she did something that I would consider extremely bizarre, and pretty much not okay to do when you're at something like Subway. She she asked for, um, I think it was four, five sandwiches. I think it was either five or six sandwiches, foot long. But she wanted them all. Ooh, that's very nice. Okay, I've got to take that. That's even better. Um, she asked for them all to be individually wrapped in three inch pieces. So she basically she wanted like a, a six, a one sandwich cut into four pieces. And she wanted every single one of them for six sandwiches all cut. So that would be, how, how many would that be? Four times six. That's like, what is it? Um, I can't remember. It's like 24? 24? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Um, she wanted 24. Not, not like, she wanted them cutting up into 24 pieces. She wanted them all individually wrapped. And, of course, the subway worker was like, hell no. <laughs> but also, prior to this, prior to this, one of the most bizarre displays of just, I don't even know, that I've ever seen. This woman asked for every single sandwich. Bear in mind, is so far the same. I think they were all, like, chicken and chicken and bacon or something. Somewhat like that. And she asks for every single sauce to be on every single sandwich. Um, oh, that's kind of an interesting one. We'll take that. She wants every single sandwich to have every single sauce on it. What? Oh my lord, that's pretty cool. Like, what on earth? Who, who in their right mind would ever ask that? Or want that. Um, and, yeah, so the ironic part comes with the fact that just... She was, like, so pissed at the subway workers. Um, and, like... When the subway... Because the subway workers basically had been a little pissy with her. They'd, they'd, of course, said no, but they'd also... Like, she was kind of a little bit demanding. And they'd been a little bit... A little bit confrontational with her and been like... We can't do that for you. Like, stop asking this sort of shit. Um, and, yeah, she was, she was the one getting really, like... She was getting really pissy about it. I just found it really ironic that, like, she's making people's life the most inconvenient she possibly can. And she and she's the one getting pissy. Like, you are literally asking way too much of people that are probably earning close to minimum wage. Like, and, and you feel like you have the right to get pissy. I'm just... I'm sorry, but just no. You do not have the right to get pissy. You do not. I just, I, I just found it so ironic. I found it so stupid. Like, how, how dare, <laughs> like, and then, and obviously she was like annoyed as well that they were getting annoyed. But I just, do people just have like absolutely like no clue about social norms and like what is okay? I really feel like. That's the case. They just have absolutely no idea what's all right and what isn't. Because in my mind, and I feel like in 95% of the population's mind, that would not be okay to ask at uh, Subway. N never mind wanting it. You already shouldn't want that. Um, but oh, I just, I, 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 it baffled me. It baffled me. And yeah, I was just like, ex this is just bizarre. This is so strange. This is so weird. And the fact that you're getting so pissed at people that are getting pissed at you for understandably you asking for something unreasonable and demanding it. And oh my god. I don't know if that quite fits the mark of irony, but to me I found it ironic. It might be a little off. Oh god, these little dudes are um, kind of tricky. I mean, they die very easily, but pain in the ass. What did I choose there? I, I have no idea what that um, what that did to me. Oh, I think it just pooped, pooped out a red poop. 
That red poop wasn't there before, and I don't know how else it would have gotten there, so... Excuse me? Oh, the fucking whippy thing whipped the, um... Why is there two of me now? What the hell? The whippy thing whipped the, uh... <laughs> the spike chest into me. I did not consider that as something that could happen. What the hell's this? Fate's reward. Not bad. Not bad. I like this book, especially with a three-room charge. It's proving to be pretty good. I'm guessing these lasers can hit me too, so I'm being kind of cautious. Emergy glasses. We saw these last time. It just makes you fire emergies. I'm not sure if it gives you any bonuses damage-wise, but yeah. It makes you fire emergies. I find that funny. Hey, we got a holy card this time around. I like that. <laughs> Look at this. It's just silly. It's just silly. I love it. We do have a, a glass D4 there, but I think I'm okay for it. Thank you. Are, are the emoji glasses giving us herming? Certainly some of them have herming. I don't know if that's just because we gained herming from one of our Lemmageddon wisps, potentially. It's also plausible. This is kind of a cool idea. The enemies all dropping temporary pickups. No, not again. Hive mind. Just need something that can generate some flies and stuff now. Ooh, look at the no, no, not again, guys. Yeah, this is kind of a scary one. I'm pretty sure they can hit me. I don't think they'd be indicated on the floor if they couldn't. I'm really enjoying this build we've got so far, though. It's pretty fun. I'm kind of stomping through the floors here. Here's some hive mind going on. I don't know what we did there. We're hemorrhaging this guy though. Or bruising him, I think it actually is. It's not hemorrhaging, it's bruising. Hemorrhaging's a different thing. Look at all the emojis, it's just hilarious. But the early game with this character is so good. We're just going to absolutely stomp through these first few floors here. Absolutely stomp. <laughs> my girlfriend just, um, I'm not really into politics, but my girlfriend just messaged me saying that Truss, uh, my Prime Minister, has resigned. Which is pretty funny, because I don't know if anyone has seen it, uh, but there's been a, a, a YouTube live stream going where it was um, a, a head of lettuce. And it was li the, the 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 stream title was literally just like something along the lines of what will last longer, Truss's uh, prime minister or uh, a head of lettuce, and the head of lettuce is one. <laughs> I find that hilarious. The head of lettuce literally didn't rot before she ended up leaving office. That's that's just that's just hilarious. <laughs> okay, we are starting to lose a few of our um, a few of our Lemmigetting wisps here and there. I really do think that this character needs a little bit of, uh, a little bit of balancing here and there. Like, I don't know what, what you'd really do to balance her. Because I, when, I, when I first heard about this character, when, when Repentance first came out and someone told me about this character, I'm like, oh cool, so the character can't get item rooms. And they're like, no, 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 they can still get item rooms. And I was like, what the shit? <laughs> really? Um, but I don't know exactly how you'd balance that, because you wouldn't want them to get not get item rooms if they can lose their Lemmageddon and Wisp really easily. Oh, Belly Jelly is sick. One of the most powerfully defensive items in the entire game. One of. Very, very good. Yeah, I'm not that into politics, but I find, I find that hilarious. <laughs> she wasn't doing a very good job in most people's eyes, I don't think. I don't think many people had too much, uh, too much trust in her. I mean, there was all the all the memes going around that she was like, she got elected, not elected, but she became prime minister for like what was it, like two days, and the queen died. <laughs> Everyone was just like, um, queen meets Liz Truss dies of cringe. <laughs> uh, I found that funny. But uh, and there was a lot of things saying as well, like. Imagine the first, like, what you've, in your reign, the first Prime Minister 
it, is Prime Minister the right t term for it? I think it's Prime Minister. I honestly don't actually know. I don't follow politics at all. But imagine your first one being um, Winston Churchill and your last one being Liz Truss. It's just like, oof. That's a, that's a real blur, that is. That's a real low blur. As long as we keep our emoji glasses, I'm happy. I mean, I can't, it seems like every emoji has like a different effect attached to it or something, something along those lines. We're getting a few crits here, but that might be from this uh, this clotty that we've got. Quite a lot of them seem to be getting like lobbed over our head. Also a tinted rock right there. <laughs> We're firing horses now as well. Teleport to the super secret room. Let's do that. Why not? Sadly, not a great one, but we'll uh, open this up. I don't like opening those too much. And we found our other secret room over there as well. Not where I'd expect it to be at all. But good that it gave me the uh, gave me the lowdown on where that was because I wouldn't have got that. Oh yes, and it gave us sacred orb as well. <laughs> My God, we've got this is this is the best looking thing ever. Look, we have the crown on. The uh, laughing eye emojis, and then we have a fucking tongue made of money. That is a that is a great look for us right now. I love the crown that you get with Sacred Orb with that. I can't remember what mod that's from, but it's it's a fantastic little visual mod that just changes how some of the items look. And yeah, Sacred Orb gives you an actual crown. I love that. Extra style. That one's decent for us. That gave us a sword, briefly. Get crit. Get hit, get crit. Ooh, new squeezy sprite. Interesting. Boom, boom. I say boom, boom, boom. Let me hear you say whale, whale. This is going to be a reasonably fast run. We haven't managed to get a lemma getting wisp that's, um, that's bad for us thus far. <laughs> just feels like I'm firing just a volley of nonsense. Like, the way that it fires as well, it's kind of like an arcing shot with some of them. It's weird. Oh god, and then it's doing the boink boinks. Tractor beam. We actually have the tractor beam synergy mods as well, which is rather nice. Track seems pretty good with this, considering all our shots were going all, all wacky. This'll help quite a bit. But yeah, you see, Track Beam actually has like an end to it now. It doesn't just hit the end of the the room. You can see, look. But um, it allows it to synergize with a lot of stuff. Vesta's pretty good here as well. The little ducks that we're firing. Our Vesta's not moving for some reason. It's not. Me it's meant to be following us. It's uh, having a hard time with that, apparently, which is not going to be great for it to be super useful because... Oh, no, it still, it still spawns the flame from our body, I think. Just the familiar doesn't actually follow us now, but hey, her. I do, I do not know if... Um... Oh, my God. I do not know if having Sacred Orb um, affects the Lemmageddon pulls. I think it does. I'm pretty sure it does. It would make sense for it to, but I, I'm not 100% sure. Just based on the fact that we got Vesta there, makes me think. Oh, God. That didn't hit me. Wow. I, um... Ooh, Lost Soul. We'll come back for that at the end of the floor, make sure we actually get the payout for at least one floor. Ares, that's two planetarium items so far. Oh, like, um, star signs, astrological, should I say. It's not specifically a planetarium one, obviously, Ares. Ooh, that was useful. And it unlocked, oh my god, that was so good. It, like, gave us mapping and everything as well. Like, rays of knowledge. Lighting these fools up. Hey, and there's another one. Ooh, that's really good. Chimichurri, whatever it's called. Should we go into our shop as well if we get the opportunity? More options, lovely. 
Use that in the uh, secret room as well, so we've got a bit of bonus out of that. Oh, we've, yeah, we've got the... Uh, that, that chimichurri, whatever it was called, is the one that freezes enemies when we walk in. I, I just said I'm really happy we got that and then completely forgot about it. This would be a good run even without Lemme getting the, this. We've got some really interesting stuff going on. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, I love this item. Honestly, I would take the no trinket. Uh, actually, would I? Would I want to? Would I, would I want to swap what I've currently got for it? Maybe not. Which is why I like the ability to buy the no trinket because a lot of the time you might not want it. You get Mum's box here, which again has a respray. That might be better because that's gonna make nine volt like super good. But that book, on honestly, no, this book is a lot of fun. I'm enjoying this book a lot. I'm gonna have to put it down. We got a rainbow chest. Oh, shit. It's been a while. It's been a while. Boom. Oh, fuck me. I, I keep forgetting I've got a host hat. Oh, I bought something by accident. I'm sorry. We bought Deadeye, apparently, as well. I definitely won't complain about accidentally buying Deadeye. Yeah, this is getting confusing. There's a lot going on here. Right. Oh, and we got Nine Lies. I don't know if Nine Lies will work how I'm thinking it does. Ah, bugger. <laughs> I was like, gamble. Gamble, it might be okay. Was not okay. Oh, we got fruitcake, holy shit. Yeah, I thought gamble it, nine lives could be useful. My gamble was ill-fated. We'll get that health back in plenty of time though, don't worry about it. Holy light or holy grail. Holy Grail Resprite looks really nice. I think I'll grab that one. Especially with the look that we've currently got. Eh, I might as well blow you up. Why not? The Dead Eye pickup was real nice as well. Ooh, Keith's, Keith's got a bit of a Resprite as well. Nice. Right, let's get out of here. This floor has been crazy. Oh, there's a mini boss we didn't do? Eh, it's too far away. I don't care. If it was closer, I'd go for it. Yeah, my girlfriend just sent me <laughs> that stream where it's who's gonna last longer, hair or the lettuce. The fucking lettuce one. <laughs> it's just fucking hilarious, isn't it? Oh, I made that's a fucking genius. I'm loving the fruitcake effects. Wicked Soul. Ooh, that's so good. Wicked Soul is like a massive stat boost whenever we have a curse. But we have an item that guarantees we get a curse every floor. The curse is now gone, but it was worth a soul heart though, so. Straight to the item room. Thank you. Yeah, I'll take that. Also, Resprite on that too. Well, isn't this something? What the fuck kind of room was this? Bizarre is what it was. Give me a soul heart. Rebuilding my health back up. Also, I didn't even say, I didn't even talk about the fact that Nine Lives got a resprite. Basically, the mod that I downloaded resprited fucking everything. Now, I did, I did pick and choose my resprites. So the 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 mod encompassed a lot of stuff. But a lot of the items that I already had resprited, I, I kind of preferred um, in some in some cases, not in all. So I kept the ones that I preferred and got rid of the ones I, I didn't like. So that there's a mix between them, which I realize means that there's some conflicting style choices in between the items. It's not consistent throughout, but I don't really care about that that too much anymore. I used to care about that a lot more, but I've loosened up. It's fine. Ooh, it's in a treasure room here. This is such a fun run. 
I hope we never lose Fruitcake. Um, get a chance to fire a something tier, which creates waves of fire in a cross pattern that deals three times your damage. That seems fun. Let's try that out. We do lose Holy Light, of course, but... Yeah, that's fun. I like that. Doing three times our damage as well is pretty saucy. Actually, let's get a Lemma getting charged here. Yeah, I think it's a bit more it's a bit better than Holy Light because it has range to it, because it can spread and hit multiple enemies. Wooden cross is real good, but not my shtick right now. Right, boss time. This has been a super fun run so far. I'm really enjoying it. Let me get the all stats up in here. Get the uh, fiend version of the boss. We did make boss rush as well. Now, do we want perfection? I think so. I realize that like we might lose it, but perfection's so good, and we've got a lot of luck based effects. Um, I think I'm gonna go dark path here, and then let's check this out. Okay, Parasite is just so much fun. It's going to be laggy, but with um, with Tractor Beam, at least for now, and the fires, I think it's going to be real good. Definitely going to be laggy, but I know I know what I'm signing up for here. I don't mind. Okay, we have summoned the the beams of light. Which I'm imagining won't be going away anytime soon. Oh my god, this is awesome. It's like the the world is ending. And the good thing is as well, if we lose perfection in this boss rush, we still get a trinket on the way out. I just want to say I have no idea what this kidney is. Fuck me. Basically impossible to see what's going on. This dude driving about. Job back. Oh, I did get hit, but I did not lose the entirety of perfection, remember? It's been changed. It's got tears now. Which I'm still not super in agreement with, but if the dev wants it that way, the dev wants it that way. I think it's going to get lowered from five tiers to three, though. But yeah, now we've got a C tier look. You're getting pulled over towards us. I don't really like that. Oh, there it goes. We're on to F tier now. It's just got plus one luck on it, I think, now. Or plus two. Ain't going so hot. Large tears up with the player can't stop firing. Chance to fire tennis ball. Yeah, let's try that out. Oh, hello. I didn't realize it was you. There's just so much fire going on. I never know what's happening. Necrosis is pretty good. I love these sort of fights. They're just ridiculous. Especially when you're like gaining more hearts than you lose as well. 
Yeah, active items just doing the same thing every single time because it changes based on what, how many rooms you've completed. It's still two out of seven. It's never going to change until we complete this room. So it's always going to spawn the holy beams and nothing else. No, the game crashed. That's such a bad point for the game to crash at as well. Because now we're going to have to replay the entirety of this floor. Which is a, a bit of a shame, but we'll reboot. That's something that I realize isn't probably plausible to fix with mods. But I love a mod that just saved the game more regularly. So when you crash, it's not a big reset. Like that, like... If, if we want Parasite now, we're going to have to go through the entirety of Boss Rush again, which is just going to be a pain. What I'll do is I'll pause and I'll, I'll, I'll play back up to where we were so you guys don't have to watch that full floor again. Um, as long as the game actually continues. Sometimes when it crashes, it won't continue. Um, so we'll see. Right now, it's just taking a long time to boot back up again. Anyways, I'll pause now and we'll be back soon. Okay, I am back. Unfortunately, the run would not continue, so I've had to recreate it. So I let my get and wisps are wrong. They're not the same as they used to be, but everything else is intact. I recreated the run. It's a little bit annoying. I don't know why runs recently just aren't letting me continue, but they're not. <laughs> um, and it's, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a tad bit frustrating. There is like two mods that, um, that are supposed to help with, with crashing like that. One of them I, I had to uninstall because people were telling me that it makes the game lag loads. But maybe that's why it's not continuing the runs as often. If anyone could let me know if that's the case, do. Um, but, hey her. It is what it is. Sometimes runs are going to crash, especially when they're this crazy. But we can continue on and I'll just edit these two parts together so you guys won't notice the difference. So do not fret. Do not worry. It will not seem like anything has changed for you fellas. Uh, obviously, we didn't get to actually finish Bosch Rush, but I think it was safe to assume we were going to with more health than we have now, so. Oh, damn. What the hell was that shot? That was pretty cool looking. There's some sort of flipping item thing going on. I'm not sure what the flipping items are about. Um, I'm going to take this and get the hell out of here. Little bit risky, I realise, just because obviously our health isn't amazing right now. But hey her. I thought, why not give it a try? We also have apparently nine red hearts backed up in our thing, so we'll use some of them. That guy's getting teleported around like crazy. We did manage to get fruitcake back somehow. Um, in the, in the Lemmageddon pulls that I did, I basically just turned on infinite item charge and pressed it like 10 times. Um, and we did actually manage to get Fruitcake back. So we got one of the items, we just didn't get Tractor Beam. But I didn't want to give myself Tractor Beam because we technically didn't actually have it and it's a pretty powerful item. So I thought it'd be a bit cheesy to just give myself an item that I didn't technically have. How come we only have two fire it? What's going on with that? I mean, I don't really know, but also I don't think I really care. Yeah, I don't know if I had exactly this amount of let me get and wisps, but it was close. Oh my goodness. How come this is uh, being thingied? Oh, bloody hell. Oh my god. Oh, there's a crawl space under it. We got flight there, that's nice. I don't think I actually need anything there, but <laughs> I didn't realize you could hit crawl spaces under those, but it makes sense actually when you think about it. I'm loving the parasite with. I think I've got rubber cement somewhere in there, I think that's what's going on here. It's causing some chaos. Oh, it's got 2020 as well. That's likely to make things more stable. We could definitely crash again and lose this run again, but I'm hoping not. I'm gonna be a little more. Cavalier, a little more cautious with the with the amount of shoot shoots that I shots, shots that I shoot, shoots that I shot. Because honestly, with this setup, I don't think I need a lot of them to to do stuff. We unlocked the empty page. Interesting, considering I should already have that unlocked. I don't know why I don't. Odd. Okay, and um, we picked up the negative, so we're going down. Yeah, I don't know why that's that's relocked itself. 
Hey, uh, we'll find out more as we go on through these bosses. If we get, if we get unlocks from these bosses, we have to have a little look. Oh, we got this boss. It takes 16 years to be able to take damage. You might as well just sit still and do nothing for a while. There you go. Right, that's probably him dead. I likely don't need to do much more than this. I'm just going to stay, stay calm for now. Is, it, is that him dead? It is him dead. Huzzah. What's this shot doing in the top corner there? Hey, we get the Satanic Bible. I'll certainly take that. We unfortunately did lose our book as well. That like our cool book. Mainly because I have no idea what the name of it was. And I can't remember. I can't remember, so. <laughs> I couldn't get it back. It's fine, though. We got enough good stuff here. Oh, my lord. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's get out of here a sec. I think we might have Cricket's body somewhere in here. I need to check on that. I'm going to cycle through all of them. Pinball is maybe one of them. Toxic Shock, Seraphim, Willow, Daddy Long Legs. Euthanasia is good. Fruitcake is there. Fireballs around us. Perfume. 2020. Hmm? No, apparently not. I don't know what's causing this craziness then. It must just be Parasite. My god. Euthanasia's been really crazy with a, with this. Want that black hat? I don't know where it's gone. The, oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. The longer I stay in a room, the more I risk. I literally have to fire once and I cause absolute chaos. I stood in the fear. Oh, hello. Didn't see you doing that, but there you go. Just fire once and then let the let everything else deal. Fire one time. <laughs> it's kind of crazy how one one shot can wipe most rooms. Some less so. How are you not dead yet, sir? There you go. Okay. Take you out. It's weird having to be this cautious with a run this powerful, but I like it. It's fun. There's a penny in every single room on the map, apparently. I think that's like golden glasses or whatever they're called. Golden shades. Oh, Mars, what are you doing? Not trying to have your own party, Mars. Ain't the time. Oh, secret room found. Do not know how. Congratulations to me, I guess. Sadly, not a secret room we care about. Sacred Orb was the only thing we cared about. Okay. <laughs> Don't know what's going on with this room. It seems to be if I fire a rock, all hell breaks loose. Mars, stop. I didn't even double tap there. You know I didn't. What's that bombs looking like? Just butt bombs. Nothing special. Okay. Let's stay a bit chill now. Ah! Then Satan himself, he's going to die pretty quick, but he's going to be a little tricky, I think. We don't want to overdo it, but I feel like seeing his shots is going to be a miracle, like, if we actually manage to dodge stuff on purpose. There's no rocks in this room, though, which makes things safer for us in terms of lag. The rocks are really what, what cause, cause issues for us. There you go. Not bad, we got there. This has been a hell of a run. See, yeah, we're unlocking items that I should already have unlocked. I'm not quite sure what's going on with that.
Why is this one cycling so much? What the hell? I'm just gonna leave that for now. I don't understand it, therefore I walk away from it. Oh, we got you again. Hello. If I stay invincible for a while. Of course you would. Oh god, he lasered me. I was not expecting to be lasered here. I mean, the good thing is, rooms are going to be pretty easy to get through. Jello looking good there, little Gary coming in. Don't think he'll be doing much, I'll be honest. Oh, there's another chest there. We, we don't have a lot of luck, so I'm surprised we're getting chests. Ooh, we got some more shady enemies here, look. I love the shady enemies. They're getting poofed around all over the fucking place. What's going on? The game's messing with you. Stop, stop teleporting them. I don't actually know when any of these guys are dead. Little hands just pooting around. What? Where the hell's the rest of them? Oh shit, there's one of them there. It's fine. We got past him. Maybe up from here? X-ray vision? Oh, I just took another parasite. What does that do? I've never had two parasites before. Is that a problem for me? That could be a problem for me. That could speak trouble. Belly Jelly coming in clutch. Oh my god. Sad that we went the wrong way here. Which can't be asked going through rooms. I just want a shortcut through. Yeah. Too many rocks. Equal too many problems. Where are all these ghosts coming from? Who the hell are you? Went the wrong way again. No. I don't know why I always go the wrong way so often on this floor. Some more shady enemies here. Oh, they're cool. They like suck shots in. We got some serious shit going on. Hello, you. <laughs> this has just become absolute destruction and madness. It's 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 kind of crazy. Oh my lord. Mars is really, really horrible. I could go and remove it, I suppose, but I can't be asked sitting there waiting for it to remove. I gotta fight you again? Don't need to go away, sir. Come on now. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here and wait. Not much else I can do but watch the slideshow. Stop being invincible! <laughs> I can't even kill the um the host dudes. How are you still invincible, my good sir? Also, these these shots are not slowing down. If anything, they're speeding up. I I think this is going to crash the game. I think this might be the end of this run. It's just not slowing down at all. And this guy is not becoming killable. Well, we'll wait this out and see what happens. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, how have you guys been? Might as well have a little chat while we're here. I've been good. I've been fine. Isaac's been um, kind of doing my head in recently with how much it's breaking. Um, or slash how bad I am at it. Have we got lump of coal in there as well? Because these tears just keep growing and growing in size. Oh my god, he's finally killable. Took you long enough. Just let us out. Just, just let us go, please. Stop having a long death animation and let me leave. Oh my goodness. Do not know what happened there. I think it's the pinball shots that are maybe doing that. If they get like in a chain in a loop, they just loop forever.
It's so weird being able to have like such low damage, be able to output such high damage. No, just get rid of some of my Lenagate and Wisps here. We don't need all of these. They're causing some weirdness. Yeah, I've got a Hurst hat. I don't need to worry about that explosion. Let me out. Let me stop going the wrong way, please. Don't be a dead end. Thank you. Classes here spin down. We don't need that. Oh, no. This is a bad room. It seems to be maybe like these... um. These gravestones that are glitching out the tears, because they like that that was in, they were in the other room as well. I don't know if they have some sort of special property. They seem to be really causing some stuff to happen. Now, these guys aren't as easy to kill because they're in the corners. You're both dead now. Stop having such long death animations and let me get to the boss, please. Yeah, this room went off the rails quick. I don't know how the lamb's gonna go here, but the lamb at least doesn't have rocks in his room, so that bird's better. Probably gonna die pretty fast. I'm gonna fire four shots and then leave things to leave things to simmer. Okay, I'm actually gonna have to fire a little more right, by the looks of it. Our shots are dispersing pretty fast. And we're not actually doing all that much damage to him, to be honest. Fire some fireballs at him, why not? I think we've lost a few of the items that gave our gave our shots such vigor. Now it's just the two parasites playing alongside each other that are causing the madness. Really has been a wild ride, this one. Imagine playing this at 60 FPS. It'd be it'd be insane. Okay, the body is just about dead. There you go. Just the head left. God damn, the enhanced boss bar mod is so good. I keep I keep like forgetting that this isn't vanilla. Such a good mod. Okay. Well, we did it. Somehow, we managed it. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Quite the crazy run. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.